Welcome back. Um, not a lot's happened this week. Um, we've made new, we've got new safety valve bodies for the uh, Ginty next door. So that's going out for a steam test tomorrow to, to see if they work better. I hope to show you that shortly. But I thought, oh, I've been pestered by my daughter. Oh, daddy, have you, are you taking our engine down? Have you, have, you, have you finished that yet? So let's take a look and I'll show you where we're at. So this is the engine. Um, some of you may remember that we did a lot of work on this a while back. I've repainted it, repiped um, the pumps, uh, done, done a few bits, but it's ready for a test. But so I just need the safety valves to be plugged off. I thought I had some uh, plugs. They looked like they fitted, but they didn't. So, what size is it? It's not a 32 thread. It's not a uh, 26 thread. So, but it's definitely 5 sixteenths. So, out came the thread gauges, uh, which are over here. And with a bit of investigation, I found it was a 24 pitch thread. So over to the Zeus book and 5 sixteenths 24 turned out to be 5 sixteenths uh, UNF. So I need to find a 5 sixteenths UNF. Now I haven't got a 5 sixteenths UNF die. I've hunted high and low but I don't seem to have any. I've got one more place to check, but for the purpose of just a boiler test, I am going to, they're quite coarse threads, quite deep, quite chunky. I'm going to put a lot of tape on a 26 TPI um, plug, do it up. Won't be going mad with tightening it up because I don't want to damage the threads, but hopefully that will be enough to hold it. If it doesn't, then will be waiting for a die to turn up. So I'm now going to pass you over to future me, who will be at the club with both engines, the Rob Roy and the Ginty, hoping to get tests on both. Ginty's my priority, the Rob Roy is secondary. Well, thank you, past me. We're now back at the club. Uh, we've been doing some testing, we've set the valves, and let's take a look at them lifting and see, see what you think. So as you saw, the GNT passed its boiler test. Um, well, you saw the, the the safety valves operating, so it has now passed. Um, the Rob Roy, I did take with me. I don't know if you saw it on the bay in the distance, but we didn't get time to start looking at that. So I'll be doing that some other time. I may even... Uh, Wait till the new plugs turn up, the new tap and die turn up, make some plugs and, and do that. However, let's take a look at what today has shown to be done to Ginty. So job number one is, as we were loading this morning, the head of the buffer came off. So that wants cleaning up and soldering back on. Personally, I prefer to make them out of one piece, but I guess that is quite a large piece that would be needed. So for now, I will just resolder it. If it comes off again, I will come up with another plan. Maybe 
uh, drill and countersink the head, put a bolt through, and and then then silver solder it and and clean it all up. Uh, but for now, we'll just solder that back on. Also, I need to make a blow down valve because it doesn't currently have one. I took the plug out when I finished running, but we had to blow all the pressure out using the sight glasses, blew it down through them, and then took the plug out to get the boiler out, uh, get the water out of the boiler. So I would like to make a blowdown valve that this replaces, or replaces this rather. So, buffers. So in this instance, the buffer comes right through and I've taken the nut off the back and it is free to come out but stuck at the moment which does lead me to I may put skim through this just to reduce it in size ever so slightly just so that it can move a bit better you see this one's stuck as well so I might take that off and do the same just give it a clean up so that it works better uh, yeah I'll get this out and we'll take a look that's it come out now i will check that in the lathe put some memory paper on there to clean that up clean up all the face and then i'll do i'll put that in the lathe as well clean up this get it all nice and clean ready to solder so this has had a good clean up this piece although it looks dirty i did put it in the lathe and i used the boring bar to clean up the inside faces and just skim just at the edge uh, so it is all clean but I didn't want to go any deeper than that because like, I didn't want to go with the emery cloth because it was tucked up inside let, let me show you it was tucked up inside the drawers like that and as you can imagine with that spinning I didn't want my fingers in there so the area that the solder is going has been cleaned um, we've put some flux on, we'll put it together and we have the map gas torch and a propane bottle. So I might just use the map gas to light this and, and do it with the propane. That may well get a bit hotter, but we'll see. Have a look. So there we go. We'll just leave that to cool down for quite a while because I can guess that we've made that very, very heavy. So heavy that I doubt I could even pick it up with my fingers. <clears throat> right, so that's cooled down enough now. Uh, I've got it set up in the lathe. I'm just going to give it a quick clean up. Let me show you. As you can see, it's not the best of colors at the moment. I'm just going to spin it in the lathe with a bit of emery, clean it up and then we'll put it back on the engine. And there it is, cleaned up. In fact, I think the problem that I might have with having cleaned this up is that it will make the rest of the buffers look bad. So it may be that in time I have to take them all off and clean them all up. But 
So now we can come back into the workshop and refit it to the engine. Also we need the buff the spring on. Thank you. Oh and that looks much better. Oh, yes. Like I say, that may need to come off now and be cleaned up. We'll see. But I'll get this done back up and then that job's finished. For those of you that know me reasonably, and possibly some of you that are watching never met me and have just got an idea of what I'm like, will know that that buffer has already been off, polished up and refitted. Um, so that's the end of buffers. Uh, unless, of course, the front ones come off at some point to be polished up, which, what do we think? It's quite possible, but because they're not with the other two, they're not essential at the moment, but they may well happen. So for now, thanks for watching. Please come back soon. It's been a pleasure. Um, like, subscribe, share, tell your friends. Um, yeah, I hope you're enjoying what I'm doing. As always, if you've got any comments over what I've done, please do let me know. Uh, I will try to incorporate any suggestions in the future. But for now, good night. See you soon.